Today I have for you guys another very, very exciting video. Today I'm filming for you all what's in my backpack 2021. This is once again a part of the back to school series. I told you guys I'm pumping out that content, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Y'all see me. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoy today's video. And without further ado, let's get right on into today's video. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to talk about the backpack that I chose. This backpack looks a little spicy, you know? It looks a little, um, what's the word? It's cute. It's a little different. I'm not even going to cap to you guys. I almost bought a satchel. <laughs> I almost bought a satchel, but I didn't feel like getting questions or anything from people. So I just went ahead and bought this backpack that looks kind of like a vintage style. So it is in the vintage style. This is the Roins. The Roins. I have no idea how you pronounce that. All I know is I saw this on Amazon. It was 29 bucks. Great quality. Amazing quality when I tell you like I think this will last me for a long long time This backpack has three compartments and it also has two cup holder thingies on the side Also alongside this it has a USB port charging so basically you put a portable charger bank inside There's like a little pocket slit for it. you plug it in and then you're able to just plug in USBs right there and like you can charge your phone you can charge your laptop whatever this is very useful i'm very excited i already got a charging bank for it so i'm about to be using this up man also it has two leather claps so i just open that up like that and then you have access to the top pocket the middle pocket and then the little pocket right there okay let's open up the latches Ooh, i love that First thing in my backpack is my planner. So this is just a binder. And basically I self made this planner. I took laminated sheets that I can slide paper in and I printed these out. I made these on Canva. I printed these out. Basically there's one for each day of the week and you can write down your homework, um, upcoming tests, and then other quick reminders that you have. It's very useful. I write on it with dry erase so I can use it every single week and I just have to erase it. Really, really useful. I think you guys should definitely look into this if you don't have money to afford for a planner. I'm always looking for ways to make things by myself to make it cheaper because um, I don't like spending that much money so yeah next I have is just a red folder it just has two pocket folders and basically I'm just gonna use this to put in um, my homework so on one side it's gonna be my homework and then this side probably gonna be my graded work next we have a five star one subject notebook so I got this in my back to school shopping video I decided to get just the one subject one because that one had so many pages and of course as you guys know I'm not planning on using that many pieces of actual paper anyways so this is basically just for math for my scrap sheet of paper if I need one um, it's graft paper it's graph paper you guys know I do not like line paper like that because I feel like line paper it kind of limits you to a certain amount of thing with graph paper I can do whatever I want next is my rocket book you guys already know the deal about the rocket book I absolutely love my rocket book and I can't go without it the rocket book is my key to becoming a fully digital student hopefully I know that that's not um, possible all the time so that's why I do have those other two notebooks but this will definitely be my main notebook I like to use my rocket book during class to quickly jot down notes so during um, lectures or anything I will quickly jot down my notes on here scan it to my iPhone and put it in the cloud and then I will erase it because this is a completely reusable notebook I've talked about the rocket book in my other back-to-school videos and so many other videos 
before this so if you really want to know about it know about it you can hit the link down in my description below and you can actually buy one through that link and I do make a commission so that would really be helpful or if you want to hear me talk about it more you can go look at one of my recent YouTube videos back to school that's all I talk about is the rocket book I love my rocket book so yeah next I have my Kyokyo campus notebook binder whatever thingy I love this it's basically a reusable notebook once again except the only thing is you do have to switch out the paper the pages the pages are not reusable but the hardcover itself is reusable you can add and remove pages in here by simply clicking these buttons right here and it pops open I still have chemistry notes in here I don't know why I did not take these out and put fresh paper I need to do that anyways basically this is where I write all my cute little aesthetic notes that you guys be seeing I will write it on here or I'll do it digitally on my Kindle Fire HD 10 tablet chances are I won't be able to bring my tablet into the building so what I'm planning to do is after I write down my notes on my rocket book I'll write them down in here which is usually I only write them in here if it's science because I feel like um, science classes are the only one where I actually need to write down notes every other class I'm very good at mentally remembering things Okay, so next in my backpack is my stationery. My stationery is still in the top big compartment. First thing is my Zebra Mild Liners, my Zebra Mild Liners, and my Pilot Friction Erasable Highlighters. So, I'm gonna open these up and show you guys which ones I'm bringing. This is not my whole collection of Mild Liners and not my whole collection of Pilot Friction Highlighters. I just basically brought the ones that I knew that I'd probably be using the most because, you know, I did say I went to downsize a little bit on the stationery, and plus, my mom and Isabella both said that I don't need to be bringing all a hundred some of my pens. So, you know, I compromised and I decided to downsize. This is going to be really, really hard. This is going to be really hard. I'm going to feel like separation, like withdrawals, definitely, like the first two weeks or so, but I think I can get used to it. I still have them, they're still here at my house. I just won't have them with me at school. These are the colors that I'm bringing with me. And then these are the two Pilot Friction highlighters I've decided to take with me. Next, it is time for my pens. This is a silicone pencil case that I've had for a couple of years. And basically you can like push the stuff. It's, it's like, weird feeling it's very like nice you can push this in it's cool it's cool and I just like how it feels in here I have basically only pilot friction pens um, because those are my main set of pens I do have other brands of erasable pens but I've decided to keep those at home and they can be my at home pens and another reason why I'm bringing all these colors of pilot friction pens is because the rocket book only works with pilot friction pens so Basically, I have an assortment of different colors I would like to choose. Okay, so my final piece of stationery are mechanical pencils, and they are the Bic pencils. I finally know what the brand's called. I was talking about these pencils a couple videos ago, and I didn't even know what the brand was called. It was like BJC or B. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, but now I know. It's called Bic. Next is the second compartment. This compartment doesn't really have school things. It has more just like personal hygiene things, things I maybe need. I have some lotion. Next, I have some Hall's cough drops. I have some deodorant. Next, I have a brush. And then I have this little face mist, facial mist thing. My little cousin Aria got this for me. She is the best. Shout out Aria. And then last but not least, I do have an emergency bag. You always need to be ready, ladies, okay? Last but certainly not least, the smallest compartment of my backpack, otherwise known as the third compartment. Once again, in this compartment, it is personal care items, basically just things to keep me looking fresh and good. First thing we have is hand sanitizer. This is some scented hand sanitizer. It's unicorn. On top of that, just in case the Bath and Body Works sanitizer ain't doing it for me, I got this antibacterial other Germex. Next is this lip gloss. I have 
Carmex. Next, I have a tube of Carmex, the classic. And then next is my Vaseline. I put it in this little tube. So I basically I just like scooped it out of the jar and I put it in this little tube right here. Alrighty guys, that'll be the end of today's video. If you guys like today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, this is a part of my back to school series. So if you guys are not caught up, there will be a playlist linked in the i cards up above. Make sure you guys catch up because this is probably my favorite back to school series that I've ever done, even though I've only done two. But this year, I've definitely been more on my game about it. So I love that. If you guys like today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. With all that being said, I love you all and goodbye. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come